the man, the myth, the legend, Edley Scallon. Hi everybody, this is Roy, and today is my first episode of Edley Scallon's Workshop. Today we're going to talk about different topics. I'm going to give you guys a sneak preview of Edley Scallon's workshop. We have Ed's magnetic wheel here. We have a lot of toys that Ed had. And we are going to cover different topics. Um, first one we're going to attack, we're going to go into magnetic current. Written by Ed Leah Scallon. And what we're going to do is uh, pick out different topics. And we'll do some of his works that he has in there. Some of his experiments. And then we're going to go over to minerals, vegetables, and animal and life. There's that perpetual motion holder. Ed Leah Scallon. And there's the replica of the perpetual motion holder. This here has been stuck on here in my, a few weeks. I just charged it up with a little 9 volt battery. You can use a AA battery. You can use a car battery. But uh, once you get those positive plus and negative in motion, they sure stick. And they're holding this bar up here. That's pretty decent. Then we're going to go ahead and get into Edley Scallon's A Book in Every Home. And we're going to look at some of his mysteries and some of his hidden secrets that he has in his writings. And then we're going to attack this subject here, Cosmetic Force. Written by Mr. Ed Leah Scallon. And then we can cover some of the stories that came out of Mr. Can is Dead book here. It's a story of... Coral Castle, written by a gentleman who was uh, a friend of Edley Scallon. And uh, this here is Ed's wheel. I uh, just started stripping it down the other day. And um, before I stripped it down too much, what I wanted to do was, I'm going to get a better camera system. I'll have some still and some one moving around, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll put one on my strap around my head and have a, what's that called, a head cam. But um, we're going to talk about topics. So I'm going to go ahead and start a list out there. Um, and I want to have you guys sign up on the list. If anybody, we're going to have call-in callers. And we're going to talk about topics. We're going to have special guests. We're going to have intercom between callers. And we'll talk about Mysterious things, we'll talk about magnetic things, we'll talk about Ed Leah Scallon and all of his work. We can keep busy here forever and ever just talking about Ed Leah Scallon. So um, let me go ahead and uh, start off by saying that um, I'm really excited about this whole idea of sort of, this is going to be a new radio station. It's all going to be based on magnetic current and Ed Leah Scallon's works. And this is Ed Leah Scallon's workshop, and I'm proud of it. So just to step back a little bit, I got a motor block. I got a couple different coils out here that I've been working on. I've been working on frequencies um, using glass insulators wrapped around with magnetic wire um, for for tuners. Um, I've been using different uh, types of coils with uh, a lot of steel. Uh, also, it's amazing the things that uh, Ed's perpetual motion holder can do. Uh, we'll be taking that out and doing some experiments, guys. Uh, this here is a new core that um, is going to be wrapped in copper. And I believe it fits somewhere in here. Um, this is Ed's replica of his magnetic wheel, and uh, it has 24 rows of Model T Ford 
the magnets they used on their um, magneto which charged their system in their Model T Forge. Pretty interesting system. It um, definitely lets you know when you, when you do a little study about that that the gas motor is really an electric motor um, if you look at it differently. But we won't get into that topic today. Today we're going to focus more on what we can... Uh, I'm going to show you a few things. We'll, we'll talk a little bit about these coils, these strange looking coils um, that I have created and made here. Uh, we'll talk about uh, a little bit about edge wheels and the positions of all these magnets and how many magnets are here. We'll talk about ground and we'll talk about um, uh, what happens when you add electric uh, inside of a magnetic moving magnetic field. Uh, we'll talk about uh, we'll have questionnaires on on um, what you guys could uh, you know answer back and we'll make that the question of the of the episode and also uh, what I'd like for you guys to do is uh, give me some input back if you guys are out there what you all are is a garage physicist and you know what I applaud you all you all doing great work you guys out there motivated me to start this new workshop of Ed Leas Gallon's workshop and um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, we definitely are going to cover a lot of stuff. There's so much stuff out there to cover. I'm so excited about all the little <clears throat> different different projects we can pick on and do and, and just see different tests. Because this guy was amazing. And just as he goes um, on and on in his writings, uh, he definitely leaves clues behind. So... Um, I'll step back a little bit. You guys could take a big look at the system. I got a 12 volt battery. Um, out of this 12 volt battery, I'm creating alternating current. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and charge up this beautiful big neodescent light there. Got the coil down underneath there. We're going to charge. That's going to run off of this battery. I'm going to have my meter fire up, and that's a, definitely a 110 situation. Um, but it's going to fire up also with this light bulb off of this system here. Uh, and I'm pulling my beginning electric out of the 12-volt uh, battery there. Um, I do right now have this coil hooked in series with that coil hooked in series to that right there. And then I have it hooked up to series of that coil and this coil and then back to the battery. Um, right now I, I don't have this big guy hooked up. It's a nice piece of inch and a half steel stock wrapped in some number 10 magnetic wire. And I got I did a couple things in here that we'll talk about later on about using aluminum, wrapping aluminum around and uh, separating the fields inside a magnetic field we'll talk about what it does what it doesn't do we'll talk about uh, reversing currents we'll talk about um, definitely my main thing is I love everything here there's nothing here that's not a great topic so um, everybody just go ahead and enjoy and There you go, there's the light bulb, fire it up there, we got the oscillator going, we got Ed's wheel. A um, couple things I want to show you, when you get this wheel going, it's, um, you just got to sit back and kind of adjust these magnets, field magnets I guess you can call them, if you want to. Just a little bit on an angle, just a little bit on an angle, and then you can get them going. And a couple things I wanted to show you is uh, this right here is a neodymium magnet, and you see it spinning. There it is. 
Watch it. That is spinning. It's kind of hard to hold the camera. That's why we're going to set this up different. But you can see the... Let's get back over here. I'm trying to show you. you see it spinning? I'm moving it closer. See the magnet spinning. So that's the magnetic field that I'm putting out my coils. And basically what I'm putting through the coils is alternating current. You see that thing screaming. And that's going on between edge wheel and my coil. So there you can see, you can make magnets turn. Now, yes, I'm adding a little electric, but I don't have no electric motor turning anything. And uh, today is just, I wanted you guys to see. See that thing turning? All right. So anyway, that's interesting. Uh, a couple other things that I find interesting. Let me grab one of these magnets off of here. Uh, any strong ones? Or maybe I got some over here that I could grab. Yeah, I got one here. So this is magnet that I'm grabbing. And I want to show you something. So I don't know if you can see it. But... See the magnet flipping in my hand? So, basically what I'm showing you is that I have an alternating current flying through around this wheel. In fact, when you just hold this right here, I don't know if you can see it, but this thing is definitely vibrating and moving it's pretty interesting stuff another thing I want to show you guys is you know once you start adjusting these and I'm not really trying to get into too much today I'm just going to show you a little bit to get you guys a little excited but we got a magnetic field going around this magnetic wheel I have an alternating current going around this wheel and Let's go ahead and put some electric inside of it. Now this thing definitely does a lot of strange stuff. When you get this wheel going fast enough, I get it to catch up. I don't have the handle. See, I'm missing some of my, my top handle. I'm missing the other uh, ring on top of here. But once you get that current going inside and I can get it to catch up to the alternating current, then this thing starts to go on its own. Don't, it doesn't need me to touch it at all. And at that point, what you're looking to do is add inside this current on the outside, magnetic current, you add electric on the inside. I got a couple other things missing. I, I, I pretty much have this thing. You have to have it timed. Timing is everything. When you turn it, I can definitely feel that it just wants to go, but it just, you know, it needs a little bit more momentum. But this is pretty interesting. I just wanted you guys to see. Ed Leah Scallon's wheel. And the potential that we have with this wheel, it's crazy potential. You know, it's once you start getting mass and you get the energy out of the mass, look at the spikes that you can see that's coming. I got this hooked up and you can see the spikes. 
I got this beautiful light bulb here shining. That's running all off of this 12 volt battery that's down here. This gets real hot, about 140 degrees. Even when this is not touching, I don't know if you can see it, but watch when it spins. I'm gonna show you guys something. Watch this wheel, you should be able to see. There's a magnetic field in the inside. Now, what you guys gotta realize, the inside of this cavity here it's all neutral and uh, Ed has mentioned um, inside his magnetic current about um, neutral the planet and he said you know around the planet it comes out pretty much everywhere but stronger at the North and South Pole and on a permanent magnet there's not much going on so these here are permanent magnets and um, not much going on is just a way to distract you from uh, not thinking what you can do with the neutrals because if you want to think about an atom what you have with an atom is the center nucleus is a positive charge and then you also have a neutral bouncing around with the positive charge sharing the same space and uh, pretty much this is what we're looking at. And then on an atom, on the outside nucleus, you have your negative charge, which consists of these magnets having a positive and negative. They are bouncing around on the outside and going back into the block here on this center shaft here is your positive. So what you're doing is you're taking your energy that you're creating here and you're moving your, you're separating it, you're concentrating it, and then you're distributing it out. So I just want you guys to know that this is going to be the most exciting, exciting show that you guys are ever going to see. I want you guys to call in. I want your feedback, not only about the show, but we're going to have people calling in. You guys are going to hear, we're going to have discussions about things, we're going to talk about stuff, we'll talk about UFOs, we'll talk about aliens. One thing that I really started to get into is these things right here. These things right there. Those things. You know those things are? They are antennas. Sure are. They are receivers. They also have frequencies. And once you and I start talking about frequencies, then you'll see a lot about this wheel, about the frequencies that this is capable of producing and what we would do with the frequencies. And um, you'd be pretty surprised on how, uh, how much you can see that's out of the normal when you start taking these positive and negatives and moving them around. All right, but anyway... So the next show you'll get next week, I'll have some great cameras. Um, I'll have this wheel stripped down. We're actually, what we're going to do is we're going to start putting it together from scratch. We're going to make a material list, and we are going to build it together per episode. And that will be the start of Ed Leah Scallon's workshop. Now, thank you, everybody. My name is Roy St. Vincent. Love to be here. I'm your talk guest host every time but we'll have people on so you guys when you when you get out there you have my email get let's get set up we'll get you on the show and we'll talk about topics of edley escallon thank you very much everybody bye bye